Hi friends, my name is teacher Eliana. Um, I'm one of the teachers that helps deliver the lunch lunches on Tuesday and I'm also teacher Josie and teacher Sarah's classroom assistant so I help them when they need the extra support. And today I'm going to show you friends how to make some snowflake tape art. That's what it looks like when you're all done. And here is some of the materials you're going to need. You're going to need some blue washable paint, a plate or a bowl to, hold the, to put the paint on, a paintbrush, some tape, and some scissors, and the most important part, a big white sheet of paper. You're also going to want a grown-up nearby in case you need some help cutting the tape or if you don't have scissors, if you need help tearing the tape. Here we're going to start off by cutting our strips of tape. And you want to make sure that you're doing it safely if you're not able to cut the tape on your own safely. This is when you're going to need your grown-up. Make sure they're nearby so that you can ask for some assistance. I have some pieces already cut out from earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and use these two. And your tape pieces don't have to be perfect the way you cut them. They can be cut in different sizes because snowflakes are all different. They all have their own unique pattern. They all look different. None of them, or no two snowflakes are alike. All right, so there is my page. There are my tape snowflakes that I put on there. And now I'm ready to paint. Bring this down so my friends can see. So you don't want a lot of paint. You don't want to fill up your plate or bowl with paint. You just need a little bit. Just squeeze out a little blob of paint. And if you need more, you can always add a little more. But you want to just start out with a little bit. That way it doesn't get messy. I'm using blue just because it's winter and I think of blue when it's cold. You guys can use whatever color you want for your background. You want to make sure that you're holding on to your page so that it doesn't move or you don't end up painting on the table. I'm gonna keep my hand there to support me while I'm painting. Oh my goodness. Do you guys know that there are 200 little crystals because snowflakes are made out of uh, frozen droplets of water that form crystals. Snowflakes are made up of 200 crystals to form a singular snowflake. So one little snowflake is made out of 200 crystals. That is so crazy. I just learned that yesterday. I didn't know that. It's pretty neat. So when you're all done painting your page, you want to make sure 
that you set it off to the side somewhere safe where it's not going to fall or where it's not going to get touched. That way it dries off completely. Once it's all dry, like mine, mine's all dry, you can slowly start removing the tape. And I say slowly so that you don't tear your page. If you need your grown-ups help, make sure that you ask them for help. And look, there's one of my snowflakes. If you were gonna do it all on your own, make sure that you're holding onto your page with one hand. You can also just lay it on the table. But I have it like this to show my friends how it looks. Oh my goodness, it came out great. Oh, I'm almost done. I just have. Two more to untape. And when I'm all done untape taping my snowflakes, I'm gonna go ahead and count and see how many I made. I hope you guys count them with your grown-ups and see how many snowflakes ended up on your page. So there is my snowflake tape art. I'm gonna go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I made six snowflakes. I hope you guys had fun making your snowflake tape art. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my window to decorate. I hope you guys do something fun with your creation. Bye.